Hi everyone, welcome to Salesforce Topics channel. In this video, let us discuss on the effect of Apex sharing modes on the record sharing settings. As we know, record level sharing we can configure by using the OWD or role hierarchy or sharing rules or manual sharing or Apex managed sharing. Here I am not going to explain again all these record sharing techniques because we have already covered in our earlier session. Here we are going to have one Apex class that is custom Apex class which has one method that is get service request which has a simple SOQL query to return the list of records that are available under service request object. To understand this concept, let's configure the OWD of this service request as private so that the records are accessible to their owners only. For example, we have the two records which is created by tech1 user and another is created by tech2 user. So the tech1 user will be able to see his record and tech2 user is only able to see his own record. Here our class does not have any sharing mode which we can also call as omitted sharing mode. Defining a class without any sharing mode is not secure by default. For example, if the tech1 user invokes this method via LWC, the tech1 user will get only one record. The same tech1 user if he invokes this method via visual force page, then he will get two records. Though tech1 user has only access to one record that is his own record, if he access via visual force page, this SOQL will return two records. This SOQL returns the records that tech1 user has access and the records that tech1 user does not have access to. The same way if the tech1 user invokes this method via REST API, in that case also the tech1 user will get two records in this case that is tech1 users record and tech2 users record. There is a possibility of leakage of data when we access this directly from the visual force page or via REST APIs. Hence omitted sharing is not secure by default. To overcome from this issue, Salesforce has provided us to use the sharing modes now let us explore the keywords that Salesforce has provided us to insist the Apex class to work as per our expectations with respect to record sharing techniques. For example, in order to insist the Apex class to always work with the record sharing techniques, then we have a keyword called with sharing. How to use this with sharing keyword? That's simple. We have to append the with sharing keyword in front of the class. That's it. From now on, all the SOQL queries which we have written inside this class will run with sharing techniques applied. That is all the SOQL queries that we mentioned within this class will run in the user mode. Let's see this in detail. Here we have applied with sharing keyword to our class and we have two records on this object. The OWD of this object is private. Now let's assume we have logged in as a tech1 user and once this tech1 user clicks on get records, it invokes this particular Apex get service request method. Observe that this class is tagged with, with sharing keyword. So this SOQL respects the all the record sharing techniques that are applied for this user. Hence only one record is returned to this query because it's a private and the user whomever is accessing is tech one. So only the first record will be returned over here and that record will be sent back and it gets displayed to the user tech one. In the same way, in order to insist the Apex class to work always without applying the record sharing techniques, we have a keyword called without sharing. The syntax is very similar. 
we have to just append before the class that is without sharing keyword has to be applied before class once we tagged this class as without sharing all the sql queries written inside this class will work without applying the sharing techniques that is ultimately all the sql queries mentioned in this class works in the system mode let's see this in detail now we have tagged our class with a keyword without sharing whenever the tech1 user accesses the records by invoking the get records method in sql query written inside this class runs without respecting the record sharing techniques that are configured for this user because this class have been tagged without sharing keyword hence two records will get returned to this query and these two records will get displayed to the user though tech1 user has access to only one record since we have tagged this class as without sharing so we insisted our class to run without record sharing techniques hence it returned two records over here for the tech1 user the next one is we have already seen that is omitted sharing in this case we don't mention any keyword as we discussed using of this omitted sharing is not recommended as there is a possibility of security issues when users directly accessing the methods of this class by using the visual force page or rest apis for the omitted sharing scenario let's think that this is a visual force page and tech1 user is using this visual force page internally this visual force page invokes this method when it invokes this method it doesn't respect the sharing settings that are configured for the users so it will return the two records back to this sql query and those two records will be returned to the visual force page and finally we have a special keyword that is to insist the apex class to work as like its caller or as like its parent with respect to record sharing techniques the keyword is inherited sharing once we apply this keyword inherited sharing all the sql queries that we mentioned inside this class will work as like the sharing mode which was applied from the caller here the caller in the sense another apex class which is invoked this current apex class inherited sharing keyword is also useful when we have the parent child relationship if we mention inherited sharing for the child class the same sharing mode whichever it has in its parent will get applied to the child the most important point here is if we have used inherited sharing on the class if the transaction itself started from this class and if it does not have any parent then the sqls will run in the user mode by applying the all the record sharing techniques that are configured for the user all the sharing modes which we have discussed that is with sharing without sharing omitted sharing and inherited sharing are meant for only record level access purposes but not for the object level field level security we have other keywords to handle the object level and field level security that we will discuss in another session observe that we are using here inherited sharing keyword for this class same class now let's see the effect of inherited sharing once the tech1 user clicks on this get records button it invokes this method but this time this method is surrounded by a class which is tagged with inherited sharing and here the transaction is started from this class itself so it runs in the user mode and it respects all the record sharing techniques that are applied for this user and hence it returns only one record over here and the same record is displayed over to the tech1 user please note that tech1 user may come via lwc or visual force page or rest api for all these cases the behavior is same since the transaction itself is starting in this method 
and this class mode is inherited sharing mode it respects the user sharing settings and it returns the only the records that user has access to this inherited sharing will make sense when we combined with more combinations in the upcoming slides these combinations matters when we use inherited sharing for example here for the intermediate class we are using with sharing and our actual class is inherited sharing once tech1 user invokes this method this class invokes the actual class now the magic happens as we have mentioned this class as a inherited sharing it inherits the mode from the caller what is the mode for the caller in this case with sharing that is user mode hence this sqql will run in the user mode by respecting the record level sharing accesses for this user and it returns only one record and finally it will return the only one record to this class and that record will get displayed to the user now in this combination the caller is going to have without sharing let's see the behavior once tech1 user clicks on this get records method the caller is without sharing since our actual class is using the inherited sharing keyword it inherits the mode from the caller here the caller's mode is without sharing without sharing is nothing but a system mode hence our query runs without applying the sharing techniques for this user and these two records will get returned to this query those two records will be handed over to the caller and this class handed over these two records to the ui finally let's see this combination here the caller is also having the inherited sharing and our actual class also having the inherited sharing when tech1 user clicks on get records button it invokes this method and the transaction is started from here so when we are using the inherited sharing keyword and if the transaction is starting over there the mode for the class is going to be user mode and this class is actually invoking our actual class our actual class is having the inherited sharing mode so it will inherit the mode from the caller if you remember the caller has a user mode because the transaction was started over here so this sqql query runs as a user mode by respecting the all the record level access for this user and hence it will return only one record to the sqql query and those one record will be handed over to the caller and finally this record will be displayed into the ui now let us see the more combinations for a class which has the with sharing keyword this class can be having with sharing without sharing or inherited sharing or omitted sharing the mode of this class doesn't matter to our class because we are insisting our class to work always with record sharing techniques by mentioning the with sharing keyword over here so whatever the mode of the calling class it doesn't matter to us always our class runs in a with sharing mode for example let's take this combination whenever tech1 user clicks on this get records it internally invokes this some other class and this some other class is having a call to our actual class since we insisted our class to always run with sharing it executes this sqql with sharing techniques applied for the user as a result it will get only one record and that record will be handed over to this class and that record will be displayed in the ui the point to be noted here is the mode of the calling class doesn't matter to our class our class always works with record sharing techniques applied as we have used with sharing keyword for this class now let's see the more combinations for a class with a without sharing keyword in this case also the mode of the 
color doesn't matter it can be either without sharing inherited sharing omitted sharing or with sharing always our class works in a without sharing mode that is it doesn't respect the record level access of the users for example once the tech one user clicks on this get record button it invokes the some other class get service request method and internally this other class is invoking our actual class our actual class has without sharing keyword so it will not respect the user record level accesses and it will return two records to the caller and this class simply returns those records to the ui and those two records will get displayed in the ui please note that here we have mentioned with sharing keyword but it does not have any sql queries over here it just received two records from other class so it will just returns as is those records to the ui i repeat one more time all the keywords that we have discussed with sharing without sharing omitted sharing and inherited sharing are related to the record level access purpose for the field level and object level security purpose we have other keywords that we will discuss in the other session in the next session we will see all these combinations in a demo with a sample application thanks for watching we will meet in the next session